नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज फाइंड द एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज ऑफ कास्ट टू एक्स प्लस का स्क्वायर एक्स एंड थ्री साइन स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस फाइव का स्क्वायर एक्स दिस इज इन सिक्स डी वन पॉइंट फाइव to solve this type of problems first we need to convert given equation into homogeneous form here the homogeneous form means let us take cos 2x plus cos square x we need to convert this into either cos x or cos square x or cos cube x or sin x sin square x sin cube x okay that is the trick here write down the given given is cos 2x plus cos square x first we need to convert this equation into either cos x cos square x cos cube x or sin x sin square x or sin cube x okay cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x Minus one plus cos square x. So finally, it is three cos square x minus one. We know the extreme values of cos x, right? What is the extreme values of cos x? Minus one less than or equal to cos x less than or equal to one. We need to convert this cos x into Three cos square x minus one. So apply square. If we apply square, see cos x range is minus one to one, right? Minus one to zero and zero to one. Suppose if we perform the square, all the negative values become positive values. If we apply Square for zero, it will be zero. So the range of cos square x is zero to one. So this can be written as zero less than or equal to cos square x less than or equal to one. But we need to find the extreme values of three cos square x minus one. So just multiply cos square x with three. So zero. Less than or equal to three cos square x less than or equal to three and perform minus one. That means if we perform zero minus one, that is minus one. Less than or equal to three cos square x minus one less than or equal to two. So. What is the extreme values of three cos square x minus one? That is minus one and two. So extreme values of three cos square x minus one is minus one comma two. The trick here is. We need to convert the given equation into homogeneous form. Here, the homogeneous form means either cos x, cos square x, cos cube x, sin x, sin square x, sin cube x. If we convert given equation into that form, then it will be easy for us to solve the problem. In this way, we able to find the extreme values. This type of problems we will get for two marks. Anyone has questions in this? okay note it down if you have any in future if you got any doubts just message me i will give reply to this video